this is Jasmine and today I'm going to be painting on a black canvas. Alright, so I've got this old sketch that I did in my college class that is of a tiger and I'm just going to use that and I'm going to go to the computer into Photoshop but any editing program will work and I'm going to just make the lines solid black and then I'm going to print it out at poster size so that I can then use white chalk to transfer it onto the canvas. And I'm also going to do just a color study to see where I want the colors of the stripes to be. Are we ready for the big reveal? Did it work? Is it? Is it transferred? Oh my goodness! Wow! Wow, that's so cool! Okay, so it is a bit smudged, which I was kind of expecting. I don't know how people manage to keep these clean. Um, and you can see, <laughs> you can see the lines of where the poster prints were pasted together. But I'm wondering if I can... I don't think I can clean this up. I think I'll just smudge it if I try to. But yeah, that is super cool. You can see here where it overlapped again because of the paint, uh, because of the paper shifting. So I just have to make some little minor adjustments as I go, make sure I don't actually overlap these. It looks like they're still touching pretty good, but that's just because, um, that's just because of the white chalk here. I actually left a line.
There's a few things that I'm definitely going to do differently when I work on my next piece. And one of them is that I want to try mixing up a base of regular acrylic paint that is kind of the color of, of these paints. And then I can paint on top of it and instead of going semi-transparent and turning really dark because of the black underneath, it will have that matching color underneath. So it should work out really well, I'm hoping. And uh, another thing that I want to try is I want to try mixing some of the colors and seeing if they still turn out glowy in the dark. And uh, I'm sure they will under the black light, but I'm not certain if they will glow in the dark. Kind of funny to think about, but this glue is actually easier to control than the paint was. Uh, except for like the purple and the pink paint. That stuff was pretty good. But <laughs> yeah, this glue, especially since it's just got the squeezy applicator, it's just easier to control. Thank you. 
So here it is. We have the Rainbow Tiger in regular lighting, in the black light, and also in the dark with just its regular glow-in-the-dark aspects showing. So why don't you guys let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. I think my favorite is actually the one that's entirely glow-in-the-dark. I don't know why. That one only the green and the orange comes through. I just think it's really neat. But I like them all because I love rainbows and I love things that glow and I love things that sparkle. So it kind of hits all of those notes. <laughs> If you like my art and my videos, go ahead and follow me wherever you want. I'm Jay-Z Fantasy Art everywhere. I would love it if you would subscribe or leave a like or both. <laughs> and I will have another video out real soon. Thanks for stopping by.